now, from my perspective, what equipment would you want? You said you have the small arms, you have everything else, what would you want? Because we were looking at my conversations up until now is okay, we were looking to get small arms, drones, etc. Drones are useful and I think that's why you are going yeah. to train those people drones. The drones. Uh, like I've said, if we can have capacity to deal with the helicopter, that would be... Drones and basic anti-air. Yeah. The stuff's available, but it's just expensive and it's... Drones are cheaper than anti-air. Far, far more cheaper. But the stuff is available. Yeah. But, and, and they can deal with the helicopter. Depending the rains, depending, you know, it's... Maybe on the ground, but I don't know... Well, helicopter, helicopters are vulnerable, because when they're hovering, they're easy to take out. Exactly. And if you know where they land, if you know where they take off, if you see them coming in, they're not moving that fast. They're very vulnerable to small arms fire. Um, I'm not sure, from what I've looked at, um, Ugandan military is using Russian choppers. Yeah, MI-24, MI... Vines and hips. These are already have been proven vulnerable in Ukraine from mm, drones. Yeah, and I don't expect that they have any sophisticated counter-drone, counter... Uh, capabilities. So this is where we need to look at those choppers and see, we need to find out what they've got and just work out the, the weak spots. Can you find this information for us? I told you we have yeah, some people in the Air Force itself. Okay. Yeah. So but again, we can do that so I'll just assess and see what the guys have been doing over there and I can, I can, what, what's working and what's not. Yeah. I can get him have a meeting with an Air Force officer okay. who is involved in this. Yeah, so we can work on that. The, um, what else? The air, the air and the drones. That saves us time. Is again.